Hi everyone, Gavin from Talk Skills here, and today I'd like to talk to you about credentials, and in particular, why your credentials matter, and why you should share your credentials with your audience or potential clients, business associates, etc. People buy from people, and people make buying decisions based on whether they know somebody, like somebody, but ultimately whether they trust somebody. Now getting to know somebody is quite easy. We can do videos like this, we can put content out, we can go to networking meetings. You can make yourself visible. You can market yourself. Being liked, not too difficult. Be a nice person. You know, follow up on things that you say you're gonna do. Deliver good results. All of those things can help you to be liked. Even just have some good small talk and have a conversation with somebody. But trust, trust can be harder to achieve. Now, trust takes time. We all know that it takes time. But one thing you can do to bring that level of time down to a manageable proportion is to share your credentials. So if we think about me, I say I'm a business coach with a difference. The reason why I say that is I've got some credentials that hopefully will back it up. I've got a corporate background. I spent 10 years with Asda in management roles where I also spent a period of time training and recruiting leaders for ASDA. So as a coach, as a businessman, I think that gives me a good background. I then went to work for Barclays where I ran four branches of their retail network. Again, a pivot from retail in ASDA to working in the financial sector. But it was about managing people. I knew how to get the best out of people and I can do it. While working for Barclays, I also bought a florist shop with my wife that we ran. And we, so we became small business owners. We had problems. We faced into difficult scenarios. We had a time where I was still working for Barclays at the time and I had to use my own salary to pay the wages of the staff in roles. But we battled through it. We learned and we got to a point where we'd built such a strong brand we were able to sell that business with a text message last year. After my time with Barclays, I bought a veterinary practice. Again, I bought my own business with my you know, the part of the family business, but I bought into it and I drove it forward and we achieved some significant results, almost doubling the turnover within five years in a very competitive market. So I've been there. I've faced those difficult decisions. I've faced those difficult times. And I think that's given me the opportunity to help others. And I think when I tell that story and when I educate people on my background and then say that I'm a business and communication coach with a difference because I will answer your questions... I think I've got the credentials to back it up, which therefore helps when I'm trying to build trust with people. So don't be shy. Don't be afraid of sharing your credentials because I think they can really help to get your message across. What are your thoughts on that, guys?